Hello again, everybody. This is John and Glenn from Best Price Nutrition. We're going to review another product based on your request. Today it's uh, Noxy Pro. We get a lot of requests for this. It seems to be selling pretty well for us. It's from CTD Labs. Um, I believe they're a newer company. I'm not sure what else they make. Do you know? Uh, they have, have a product called Noxyvol. Uh, they changed the name to N O X I V O L, so it's still sort of pronounced Noxyvol. Um, and they've got a few other different products, uh, some beta alanine, I think a paracetam, a few other. Looking at the label, it looks like they're going for a pharmaceutical effect just based on the look and feel of it. Um, going through the ingredients here, it's, it's a proprietary blend. Um, if you've seen our videos before, we're not the biggest fans of proprietary blends. A lot of companies do it. They're going to tell you that they want to protect their blend so nobody copies it. Yeah, I'm not buying it. Tell us exactly how much is in there. That being said, there are a lot of good products out there that use proprietary blends. Going off the first ingredient here, beta alanine. Beta alanine to me is probably the best ingredient to come on the market since creatine. Mm -hmm. So beta alanine specifically, the way it works is it's going to buffer lactic acid in the muscle, so it's going to delay the onset of fatigue, which is one of the rate limiting factors when you're using fast twitch muscle fibers. It's, it's the byproduct of anaerobic um, uh, metabolism. So beta alanine is very good. Some of the effects, what do you expect to feel when you take something with beta alanine? Well, I guess you could call almost a side effect is you get this tingling in your face. It's not to, nothing to be worried about. It's a natural side effect of it. But in terms of the positive effects, let's say you're working out, you get six or seven reps, and you get to that point where you're burnt, you can't get any further. This may allow you to get to eight, nine, ten, maybe even twelve reps because uh, it's delaying that onset of fatigue. So you're actually able to, to get in there and work out longer, work out harder, do a little more damage to the muscle, follow up with a good protein supplement, and you'll recover. And a lot of the research has shown that to be true. And also, beta alanine, when we talk about it too, in terms of lactic acid production, it doesn't just work within a set. Like Len said, that is true. You know, you can usually six reps, maybe you could pump out eight or nine. Also, when lactic acid builds up throughout your workout. So maybe on your last set of your workout, you're going to be more explosive. You're going to have a greater effect because there's going to be less lactic acid built up in your muscle. Because at some point, you fatigue and enough rest and recovery within that hour, let's just say, during your workout is not going to cover you. So having that beta alanine in there can help buffer some of that lactic acid. You know, um, your body is breaking down ATP and adenosine triphosphate into ADP and adenosine diphosphate and, and lactic, lactic acid. So the beta alanine will be there to buffer lactic acid. Another ingredient here, creatine monohydrate, actually recycles ATP. It returns the phosphate back onto ADP. So that can kind of hit you from both ends in terms of getting rid of the rate limiting factors and with your fast twitch muscles and anaerobic metabolism. Yeah, I mean, creatine's been around for years. We know all the positive effects that it has uh, with uh, not only increasing the ATP, enhancing recovery. Uh, so many different studies out now that's showing it's good for the brain. So it, it's, it's that, those two, beta alanine and creatine, probably the top two uh, supplements over the last 20 years. And to be clear, these are going to help with fast twitch muscle fibers, you know, your explosive energy system, so to speak. You know, if you're going to go run a marathon or three miles, you know, these ingredients aren't necessarily going to help you because that's aerobic metabolism. You know, these different muscles, the uh, slow twitch muscle fibers as we call them, they work differently. They, you know, they're going to work on oxygen, fatty acids, and glucose. It's a much slower reaction. However, when you do something fast like bench pressing or sprinting, that's a very explosive act and it requires a quick source of energy and that's where ATP comes into play. Beta alanine and creatine are going to help increase that explosiveness, delay the onset of fatigue with those areas. So definitely noticeable both those ingredients. Again, we don't know exactly how much is in here. With the beta alanine, as Glenn mentioned, you can get tingly lips kind of. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be able to notice that pretty well as long as I'd say there's at least a gram in there. And I believe those effects tend to subside over time if yeah, you take it's it. Less I, noticeable. I don't even notice it yeah. anymore. Um, another ingredient here is uh, AKG. It's a form of arginine. You know, it's in a lot of nitric oxide products. A lot of research has come out recently on it. I mean, you want to give your take on it? Uh, yeah, more or less, uh, it, it's been shown to increase nitric oxide production in the body. But the problem is, is your body then uh, starts to create an enzyme called arginase, which inhibits that effect, inhibits the effect of arginine converting creating nitric oxide in, in the blood. So uh, for people who have you know, never taken a pre-workout supplement before, by taking arginine, you, know, you get a great pump. But eventually those, that, that'll subside and it'll stop working. And, and that's sort of what we're all after is getting that pump. Well, if you've taken arginine in the past, 
you're really not going to get that feeling like you did the first time you took it, which which is something that uh, it, it's not good. You know, it, it's one of those things that if you take it one time and it works great, but you're not going to get that feeling again. And that's because your body wants to control your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing with nitric oxide is you're actually dilating blood vessels. You're opening them up. You're decreasing peripheral resistance on them. Wow. So when you open up your blood vessels, you're actually lowering your blood pressure. When you constrict them, you actually increase your blood pressure. So your body always wants to maintain homeostasis, maintain that balance. So when you're trying to affect that, that's when your body's going to have a negative feedback loop. It's going to produce this arginase that Glenn talks about to try and blunt some of those effects. So there's a, there's a rate limiting effect to them that. So that have kind of soured some people on arginine. So, and, and rightfully so to a degree. Um, a few of the other ingredients in here include uh, carbolin, um, which is a, uh, a carbohydrate supplement. I assume that's in there to give a mild insulin spike to help uptake these ingredients. So it definitely makes sense that it's in here. Um, they also put fibrosol too in there, which is a form of fiber. You know, we're speculating on why that's in there. We're guessing maybe to slow down the absorption of something. Otherwise, I'm not sure why it would be in there. Yeah. There may be a good reason. We're just not sure. Just looking at it, I can't think of a good reason why other than maybe to slow down the absorption of something in here. Um, next would be the stimulants. Uh, caffeine. Great for energy production. Uh, again, we don't know how much is in here because it's in a proprietary blend, but, you know, caffeine is there for the energy. The, the feedback we get is that this supplement kicks quite a bit, so we assume there's a pretty healthy dosage of um, caffeine and other stimulants. Some of the other ones include theobromine, which is from chocolate. You want to cover the effects of, of theobromine? Uh, yeah, again, it is a, it's a stimulant, a mild stimulant. It's very good at uh, mood enhancement and brain support, increasing the serotonin production. Uh, geranium? Geranium is just another mild stimulant. Again, it, it sort of mimics the effect of what epinephrine or adrenaline and dopamine have in the body. Uh, it's very, very popular right now uh, as a stimulant. Um, evodiamine, I know that's been in a lot of stimulant products. What has your take been on that? Uh, you know, I, I don't know much about that ingredient because it, it's, it's always at the end of the ingredient list. It, you know, it's, it's not something that's, you know, uh, really highly touted in these ingredients. So um, not, I'm familiar with it, but not too familiar. And the, the last ingredient is our beta methylphenylethylalamine. Uh, more or less, that's just beta PEA. PEA is an ingredient that if you've ever taken it by itself, you get like a, sort of a euphoric tingly feeling. It lasts about 10 minutes, um, but it's there for the, the, the support of more or less making you feel good, uh, which is nice. But then again, we don't know how much you're getting. It's the last ingredient. So to kind of wrap this up, we do get good feedback on this product. Um, it kicks pretty hard in terms of the stimulants in there. Also, you know, the one thing that this one that makes it, I guess, a little bit different than some of the New Guard is that it is still using arginine. A lot of the newer ones are moving away from that. The popular ingredient they're using now is citrulline malate. Um, that, that's really popular right now. Norvaline. Um, norvaline is, is another ingredient. And actually, norvaline's in there to inhibit that arginase effect that arginine has. So that's a nice look for that ingredient in products. It's very good. With the nitric oxide effect on most of these pre workouts, I'm personally a little skeptical as to how far they can take it because what we talked about with the homeostasis and your body's ability to return back to balance, you know, to get back to where it wants to be because blood pressure is something that plays a critical role. In, in your physiological system. So, you know, I'm, I'm personally a little skeptical. I'm not saying that it can't happen and maybe you can get that acute effect, bef uh, effect before a workout because for an hour, you know, before a workout, I, I could see how that can definitely work. The great thing about these pre-workouts is they definitely kick. I mean, they do. If, if a lot of people get very good workouts when they take them. So, you know, my theory is, all that being said, is if you're getting a good workout from taking it, you're stimulating your muscle tissue more, you know, you're, you're breaking it down more so you can grow. So then I think it's kind of they're doing their job. Yeah, yeah, they are. They really are. If they can enhance your workout, then, then they're good. And as far as use, make sure that with anything with stimulants, we've mentioned this in other videos, it's always a good idea to kind of mix your dosage, maybe take it three, four times a week. Give yourself some days off so you don't get down regulation on your adrenal glands, which means you'll have to take more and more of it for it to be effective because less and less receptors get affected by some of these stimulants. Now, there are some ingredients in here, creatine and beta-alanine specifically, that you do want to take every day to keep built up in your system. However, I'd recommend buying those separately. You can buy creatine monohydrate very cheap, beta-alanine as well. They're both cheap ingredients. They're great. They're phenomenal. They're probably the two best you know, uh, performance-enhancing supplements on the market, but I would buy those separate and use those for keeping yourself um, saturated. Your exactly. Muscle saturated. muscle saturated with creatine and beta alanine. So I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to post them. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you. Thank you.